City of Cherubal is facing a lawsuit in a last ditch effort to stop the sale of a historic museum on East Main Street. That lawsuit was announced during tonight's fiery city council meeting, which at times turned petty. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis joins us now in the studio with what all this unfolded at tonight's meeting. Yeah, Brian, this right here is the deed showing 109 East Main Street was sold to the city of Cherryville in 1986 for just $10. But in this lawsuit, the Cherryville Historical Association claims they own the property through what's called adverse possession, meaning they occupied the property long enough to now own it. You are closed minded. You are closed business and you are not transparent. Al Putnam, the president of the Cherryville Historical Association, has said from the start that he'll fight any attempt to move or replace the town's Main Street Museum. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to citizens of Cherryville. As city council was set to approve a bid from Cherryville Main Street LLC to purchase the property for $400,000, Putnam announced a lawsuit against the city, the Rotary Club, and six other people. You all know that uh, there's a lawsuit filed for adverse possession claim for real property. So the property now has been encumbered. There's a mechanics lien on the property. There's other things with that. And uh, you can't sell the building because it doesn't belong to you. While the city of Cherryville is on the deed, Putnam is claiming ownership through squatters' rights. In North Carolina, a squatter must occupy a property for at least 20 continuous years to claim possession. I got a question for you, Al. No, Do you no, live no, in Cherryville? Do you live no. in Cherryville? No. Your car has an Oklahoma tag on it. The public comment session turned personal and petty. And was your name on the lawsuit? My, my name is on an affidavit. If you're part of that lawsuit, then, then this castle is permitted to even talk to you. We can't even talk to you. So, so I feel like this conversation is over. Despite the fireworks, council members unanimously voted to approve the bid for purchase. Everything we have done is try to help this town move forward in a positive direction, not a negative direction. So for someone to say there's not transparency, I resent that statement. Something that was also brought up at tonight's meeting was if the lawsuit over who owns the property could stall the sale of it. That's something we're working to get answered. Brian?